Hello everyone, today we are going to fold an armadillo, very cute armadillo. Kind of looks like that. We are going to start by folding the paper in half. like that. Unfold and to that line you made we're going to fold half again. Both sides. Then we are going to fold the corners to the center. Like that. After that, you're going to fold these two edges to the center again. After that, we're going to fold it in half, like this. And then unfold everything. Now we are going to make five little crimps in the center area and the crimps shouldn't exceed this area between these two tips of the triangles from the top and bottom. You see this triangle crease lines and the point of the triangle? The five crimps should be in between these two points horizontally. So. Let's begin. So if you see the two points, the triangle points, start by folding a little bit below those points. Make a valley fold. And then with that, a good tip is to kind of use your thumb as a guide and Uh, and fold down like this. It has to be very tiny crimp because we are going to make five crimps. Like that. And then we are going to make another fold and the size between them roughly be like that like this doesn't have to be perfect and you fold that now well, the fold we made and then do the same crimp very small crimps Just like this that is our second crimp, and we need to do three more of that, okay? So keep going. Roughly around there. And that's 
same as last time. Pick a tiny crimp. Go. And then we're going to make two more. And one more like that. Then make your final crimp. That's and there you have your five crimps so one, two, three, four, five. After you've done that, we're going to make a few crease lines. And these queen lines were already made from earlier. Remember, we unfolded everything. And so the first line is along the edge here, right? Up to that point where it uh, makes a corner edge. Kind of fold along that line. And then the next one is here, the inner horizontal crease. And then fold along that as well, only in the middle area. And then we're going to make a crease line down here, connecting the two long creases. Like so. And also down here. Connecting the two creases. And then with that, you're also going to kind of form these corner creases, folding, pinching a little bit. Like this. And then we're going to complete the fold by pushing this part in. And then it should follow the crease lines inside. Like so. Like so. And then co complete it. have to do the same thing on the other side. So again, make those two long creases, form them here and here, and then make the, the short ones connecting the two creases, like that, here and here. And then we are going to also all the creases on the corners. And 
just like last time. I'm going to collapse the model. Like so. And that's where you have it. And then you want to flip the model over next. Next, we're going to make this crease line. So just like that, both sides. And then we are going to push this flap inwards. That you want to see it clearly like this, so it will make that fold. So it starts like that, and then you fold inwards. Do the same on the left. Um, to help, you want to fold this this line as well, this crease line. And then open it up and fold words like this. And these two are going to be the font legs of the armadillo. And now we are going to fold, make a valley fold back to so this part. You want to thin the legs like this, holding it in half. Same here. Just like that. Turn it over again. Now we're going to work on these two flaps. We're going to fold them inwards like this completely so it looks like a triangle and then do the same on the left now we are going to fold this one in half as well connecting that edge to the edge Connecting this edge to that edge as well. And now we're going to fold this up. Just like that. And now we're going to make a, a crimp here as well. So first, fold this part up. this just a bit and then fold this flap down triangle flap just like that now this is a, going to be a very tricky part this is the this is the tail of the armadillo and we're going to fold we're gonna make it thinner and so to start Place this edge here, you see this edge, to the center. It's not going to fold flat. Start by doing that on both sides. Okay. And then, if you see, there is a, a valley fold there. You want to put your finger onto it, right? And then you want to push down like this, push down with this finger, and we just made like a pocket. And then we use that to 
together with that guy. to make this fold. Right? Then, so it's, it could be a bit confusing, so we'll try that again. So that, that was the beginning part. And then so we started by folding this to the center, right? Folding it to the center, and then using your finger, you want to push this folded part out like that, okay? Push it, give some force. And then you fold, complete the fold. Then you do it on the other side as well. So like, just like last time, you're going to push this part this part out, so like, like that. There you have it. Okay, now that the tail is finished, we're going to put the legs back down. And then we're going to form oh, the legs, actually the feet rather. So for this part, um, we want to just make a inner fold like that. Do the same to this side here. Our fold like this. And then for these legs, we want to start by folding inward once, like so, and then folding outwards, just like that. Do the same on the other side, folding inwards once, like this, and then folding outwards. Like that. Okay. Now rotate, turn it over. And then this flap, you see this? Fold it down to the center. And now we're gonna make two crease lines along this edge and then that edge. Easy way is just uh, kind of pinching it like that. And then we unfold this. And then with that, what we made, we want to fold that model in half while pushing onto this. Okay? so. Fold it in half and then push this inside so that it will create um, this flap down the middle. Now we're going to bring this flap back up just like that. And then we're going to reverse it again. So Holding it down, but here, when we reverse, make sure that the anchor point is the same as the first initial reverse. So when you push this down, you don't want to do it like like a small, only a small like that. You want to make it all the way like that. So while pushing, while pinching, easy way is like you make you form it, you pinch this head. You kind of pull a little bit like this so that it's at that same anchor point, right? And then you want to fold it so that this point here is kind of in this in the middle 
of this little triangle, it should just look like this. Yeah. Try to make it look like that. And then we're going to form the head. And to do that first, we're going to open this little flap up like that. And what that does is extending this, um, this paper here. Right? We extended it. And then this edge, we want to fold it in like that. Fold it inwards. And then fold it along that tip, the edge. Just like that. All right. So again, it was like this. And then we opened it up. And then we pushed this flap down. And we fold it along it, just like that. Same on the other side. We open the flap like this, and then fold along the edges, right? And that should be the head. So we push the ears back. There we go. Um, that is actually the model, but we're not done yet. Um, we're gonna make this part round since armadillos, real armadillos, have rounded backs, right? They also curl up sometimes. So, to kind of emulate that, we're gonna do the same. And, easy uh, way to do it is to kind of hold between the top and the bottom and then kind of put some force in it but you don't want to tear the paper but give a little force so it opens up the layers slightly kind of like that oops that was a bit much. Here as well. And open up the layer. Just a bit. Just like that. So you see it's already like curled, so you have that effect. And that is one cute armadillo finished. All right, thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe for more origami tutorials.